those GIs embarking in the Queen Elizabeth in the Clyde are just a few of no less than 15,000 whom she was transporting to America. Some were going home, others were en route for the Pacific War. This was the QE's 36th round trip of the North Atlantic, in addition, of course, to the thousands of miles steamed in other parts of the world. Together with the QM, this ship, the largest in the world, played an unprecedented part in winning the war in Europe. They brought reinforcements to the Middle East in time for Alamein. Between them, they have carried safely one and a quarter million men, plus great quantities of equipment, to various battlefronts. Both of these giant liners are still on war service. Queen Mary recently arrived at New York with over 14,000 American Army and Navy men returning from victory in Europe. This ship is better known than the QE, of course, which has never been in anything but war service. The war records of both are well known in New York now, and the Queen Mary is especially familiar. Add the fact that she was bringing thousands of Americans home, and we can guess what a welcome sight she was. As for the men on board, I'll bet New York seemed a pretty good sight to them.